I'm Geneviève Cron from uh, the BNF, the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, which is the French National Library. And um, I've been uh, asked to speak about uses of uh, digitized and OCRZ text collection by the end users. And so that subject was actually new for me when they asked me to do that. So I had some kind of survey around the people I work with to um, gather information about that subject. So uh, I first will talk about our collection, short description. I'll have a little um, um, slides about users and their queries. Uh, most frequent queries. And then I spoke about OCR accuracy because uh, the uses you can do with a uh, collection is highly depending on the accuracy you got out of the OCR. So our um, digita digi digital library is uh, Gallica and we have about over one million documents on our website which is mostly on, in French, so uh, I, I'm afraid you cannot really, it cannot be useful for you, I'm sorry, but uh, so we are digitizing uh, documents since 1992 and at this time we had uh, not so much space to uh, save documents, to store documents, so uh, we have most, most of them are uh, by, by, by tunnel, which is black and white, so uh, at this time we didn't use OCR, so uh, we didn't know that um, the way we digitize documents will be not, uh, not good enough for OCR. So now we are working on that kind of material and we want to OCR it and so we have difficulties with that. And we only have OCR since five years uh, so, which is short. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but now we have kind of a great um, amount of document, which is a uh, large volume on, of newspapers and periodicals. And um, the accuracy, which I will explain later, but is about 98% on word level. And uh, the volume we have on books is uh, 1,000, 100,000 books, and um, that amount is all over 60% OCR accuracy, which is low, I know, but uh, you will see later. But the average of this, uh, the average on all the, the, the books we have is over 90% word accuracy. So then let's speak about users. So as we have French collection, then most of the users are in France. And, uh, but we have some people in, uh, in Europe, also of Belgium, Switzerland, and so on. And we are also uh, thinking at handicapped people because, uh, for example, blind people, what can you do for them? And um, we also think at mobile readers, which are not in library. Some people are in the library and they can access uh, more uh, volume because uh, some volume are under rights. And if they are in the library, they can access additional uh, collections. Uh, the number of visits. So we have a some, some kind of points which you should not look at, but uh, it's increasing and increasing. And I, the reason is also that uh, because uh, we have more and more OCR um, documents. So uh, let's speak about queries. Uh, so I had, um, I had a file uh, describing the 500, uh, 5,000 most frequent queries, but it was kind of uh, big. Uh, volume to analyze, so I just uh, analyze only the 1,000 most frequent queries. And so for each query, I analyze if it's bibliographic uh, query or content query. So bibliographic is author and title, and content is the rest. 
So uh, in the content-based queries, uh, what I would say is that uh, I think that the content-based queries um, are uh, allow user to attend uh, the find that could not be attended if they if we didn't have been OCRZ. So that's two thirds. In the content-based queries, you have uh, thematic, which we'll see later. And a great pause is geographic. That's really uh, um, an important uh, thing to know is uh, there is a great amount of people searching for their local uh, village or the, um, the country they come from. And one part is his also historical events. A great part also on genealogy. There we know that a lot of people are searching the name to find, uh, for example, to make their uh, genealogic tree or uh, just to know if some press article is speaking about their grandfather. <laughs> and so on thematic queries, uh, a large part is science, which is a surprise for us because we, we didn't think that. Humanities and a great part really on theology and esotericism. Really. <laughs> magic uh, things, so on. You've got arts and so on, and sex is 2%. And about bibliographic uh, based queries, uh, so a large part is author, and then a lot of people search for sport. For example, they want photography, they want drawings, they want, um, I don't know, sounds, we also have sounds, uh, audio files, uh, literature title, that's all about queries. So uh, I'd like to show uh, our workflow because uh, it's really important to know where the data come from. And so uh, you have one part of our collection, also is that collection, which is completely automatic, which is the part here in, uh, in the white, which uh, you have the image, you have the automatic OCR, and then uh, that's all, no correction. And for, for uh, later, I, I share it in two parts. One is from zero to 60%, and one other part is from 60 to 100%. Then we have another workflow, which is on newspaper, and so we want to have a quality insurance that it's higher than 98%. And then service provider have to correct the OCR um, output to uh, be sure that um, the file with the providers is higher than 98% accuracy, which of course is an estimation because uh, you, you can never know if you don't have the ground truth, if the, you don't have the the real text, uh, if the accuracy is uh, really 98%. So, and we also have manual collection, of, ma manual correction on books, and we want to reach 99.9% .9 accuracy. So, how we, do we compute? We don't compute OCR accuracy. Service provider do it for us. So, uh, they use um, a lot of things. Uh, and so, because most of them use Abbey uh, Fine Reader, uh, they use that for their um, accuracy computation. So they have, um, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> accuracy on uh, character level, uh, word level, they have an informationable dot two words, and uh, they also can know um, if it's the word is in the dictionary or not. And uh, they also have their eternal computation because some of them use a lot of uh, OCR engine. They have their own and Abbey and they compute it and they merge and they some make the average or I don't know. And, but what we ask is uh, statistics on text but not on illegible area, on numbers, on non iso character and punctuation. So uh, actually, uh, afterwards, uh, we noted that 
percent of the BNF osteoarthritis collection is higher than 60 percent osteoarthritis accuracy. And uh, when you see, for example, uh, a text with 31 percent accuracy, which actually that's the the text is really the image is really bad, but it comes from our collection that was digitized a long time ago with a bit of an image, uh, with transparency and so on. And you can see that if you search for Vietnam, you get this text which has no connection with Vietnam. And uh, so they had a, um, an analysis on uh, what's the limit between uh, what what can we do uh, with bad OCR uh, pages? And they decide that um, less than 88, uh, less than 60 percent is too bad to do anything with it. It's only noise. So um, we don't do anything with uh, OCR uh, less than 60 percent. 60% accuracy. And so 81% is really bad, as you can see, but at least you can uh, access the, the, the document if you search a word, uh, I don't know what, <laughs> which one, but uh, there is a con connection at least if, if you search a word, you can access the document. So we keep it for search. Uh, then what what are the uses uh, of uh, what? What kind of functionality can we can you do with OCR uh, collection? Um, um, for so I remove uh, all all documents with less than sixty percent. You can have plain text indexation, of course. Most of the time, that's what you want to do with that, and. Uh, it's mostly important for a newspaper because in the, in the bibliographic information of newspaper, you just have the title and the date, and that's all. So uh, if you want to search for an historical event or for your village or so on, you will never have ac access to a newspaper. Uh, so we have word highlighting. And um, you can close press. And yes, it's really most consulted documents. And genealogy, it's about a third of the queries as we thought before. Um, and uh, as we noted that uh, we have, uh, ha people are really highly interested in genealogy um, and also industrial people. Uh, we have uh, commercial partnerships with Ancestry and Genianet also and they have our collection, uh, we, they pay for having access to our collection, but then people who want to access their uh, database have to pay also, so it's kind of, uh, uh, it's interesting for the library to get money for that <laughs> also. Um, we have also partnership with uh, Wikimedia. Uh, they use a collection uh, that are not uh, really high level accuracy and anyone can correct our text and then it can be shared by um, afterwards if it has been corrected by uh, several people then uh, control, uh, then it can be a full text uh, access but only on their um, website because uh, they use plain text. So uh, they cannot enter our system because in our uh, system we need alter file, which is described in the structure at word level. So we need to know where the word is and so on. So that's a screenshot of uh, Wikisource. Uh, so people use uh, our collection, uh, which are at good level, in for quotation, they, they want to cite something, then they just copy and paste. So we have also text to speech conversion. So let's try that. I hope it works. <laughs> Actually, I, di I didn't write the volume, so. 
maybe there's no uh, audio output. I didn't try it. Sorry, because, okay. There is a voice reading what's written. So uh, it's dedicated to playing. Sorry? No, it's, it's supposed to speak. So it should make sound. So I didn't restore it. I didn't think. Oh, maybe I, you can try it. Volume on, is there? No way. Well, sorry. So we have that <laughs> for high quality document. It ha really has to be really good. And of course, it's, uh, it's not done by BNF, and, but sometimes you have a strange voice. But it really has to be on really good uh, document because else it sounds very strange. Uh, uh, we are also working on converting our collection into EPUBs format. And so uh, we just have three EPUBs yet which have been produced on purpose for just for demonstration. And we, we have ordered 1,000 that will be available at the end of this year. And we are also thinking at um, doing it by yourself, but uh, using alto file, which is a description of the, of the image uh, at word level. But uh, maybe, we don't know yet if it's possible because we have uh, structure, we need structural information because, for example, we don't want the title of the chapter to be, uh, uh, to reappear each page. It has to be removed, so maybe we can use the, uh, functional ex extension parser, I, I don't know. We are thinking on it now. <laughs> um, so that's an example. We also uh, ha um, use our high quality documents in the tel plus indexation, which was a project with it's finished now. And um, so it's a European um, portal which uh, uh, on which you can access the national library's documents. And also, what can you do with high quality uh, or series of collection is learning sets, for example, for impact, uh, the ground truths, or uh, for any research purposes. Uh, when you have really good um, information, then in ca it can contribute to the community to increase the OCR because they need a lot of data sets to uh, compare their OCR result to um, uh, the ground truth. So somehow it turns around. So to conclude, the uses are highly depending on OCR accuracy and the format. So for example, if you just have plain text, uh, you cannot do so much with that. That's all. <laughs> so if you have any questions, tell me. I just have one question. When you said the um, material that's in the 0 to 60 percent range you said you didn't use. Yeah. Do you provide access to that? Just we provide access to the images <coughs> only. But uh, actually at the beginning we provide access to any result. But then it's kind of um, we, then we have users coming back to us and say, well, it's a shame, you shouldn't provide that, that's too bad, and that uh, uh, there's no use, we can, in, so first, <laughs> and secondly, then really, it's, it's really awful. But do you present them the text? We did, but not anymore. We don't, we, we don't want because uh, it's too, really too bad. Maybe that's not the worst example I can get, but um, sometimes you just have punctuations or just eyes everywhere. And uh, so, uh, yes. 